C1 Analyzer version 20.21.1. In this version, there are several new features on interacting with traces. Uh, these are things like scrubbing the trace, highlighting how you zoom, and how you can shift a base lap compared to the main lap. So we're going to talk about those and show you how all these features work in this video. So here we have uh, a two laps loaded in the Z1 analyzer. And what we're going to look at is uh, scrubbing and highlighting and shifting of uh, a base lap compared to a main lap. So first, we're going to talk about scrubbing. Uh, scrubbing is where you have the cursor right here. Um, and if you click the mouse and move it back and forth, the values change based on where you are uh, in the trace. So this makes it really easy to quickly see how things are changing uh, within your trace. Uh, looking at the speed one here, you can see that you know the speed goes up and then starts going down to paste uh, based on where you are. Uh, so this is one of the new features uh, in version 20, 21.1, uh, the ability to do this scrubbing. And uh, you can assign this to various uh, mouse options, which we'll get to in a moment uh, after we talk about the other new features as well. So uh, let's talk about uh, zooming in on a trace. So in previous versions of the uh, analyzer, you can zoom in by double clicking. And this is still the same here. If you double click on a trace, it zooms in to a 10 second section of that trace. And then you double click again and it zooms back out. Um, in this version, you can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So you just place your cursor wherever you want to zoom in and start using the mouse wheel to zoom in or the other way to zoom out. And as you can see, uh, the track map also adjusts showing you exactly what part of the track you're seeing when you're zoomed in and you're zoomed out. And to zoom back out again, you can either double click or you can just keep zooming out until you see the whole trace. So that makes it quite easy to zoom in and out anywhere on the trace um, that you want to. Now, when you are zoomed in, so let's zoom in a little bit, you see here you get a, uh, a scroll bar. So this allows you to move to the left or the right within the trace. So if I click this and go to the left, you see we're moving to the left in the track map. And up here, the, uh, you see the whole track map section that you're looking at. And on the right here, you have this sort of small thumbnail showing you exactly where in the track you are viewing at this time. So you can go all the way back to the beginning and all the way through to the end using this scroll bar. And again, double click and I come back out. So the steering percentage uh, trace actually has a unique um, feature for, for zooming in. If you double click on that one, it will zoom into the corner that you double clicked on, not just a 10 second section. So if you want to look at a particular corner, just double click there and it zooms into that corner. So that makes it quite easy to, to view a whole corner within the trace. And then double click to go back out again. And the ability to uh, highlight a section of the trace and zoom in, which was in previous versions, is still in this version. So the way I have that set up right now is control and then left click and then drag to the section I want to see. So this highlighted part here, when I release, I'll zoom into that part of the, um, of the trace. So this is another way that you can zoom into uh, the trace and see specifically what you want to see um, when you zoom in. And then I can either double click or I can use the mouse wheel to zoom it back out again. And then the uh, final feature we're going to talk about in moving traces around is to shifting a base lap. So this is um, something that if you have a track li license or higher, you can use. So if you import data from an external source and you want to compare that data to other data imported from external sources, or from a lap generated in a sim, the beacon at the beginning of the lap might not be exactly in the same place for every single lap. So what you can do is after you've loaded both laps, you can shift the base lap forward or backwards to line those beacons up. So the way that works is I'm shift, I hold the shift key down and I click and drag and you can see that the base lap data is actually moving so you would move this until it's in the place that you need it to be so that the front of the beginning of the laps line up. And uh, 
In addition to using the shift key and the um, scrolling of the mouse, sorry, the shift key and dragging of the mouse, you can also do sh keyboard shortcuts for uh, shifting base laps. So it's the shift and then the left and the right arrows. So if I hold the shift key down and hold the right arrow down, it moves at one um, pixel at a time. So you can see it's moving, but quite slowly. So this allows you to get fine control over your shifting of the base lab. And finally, if you go here, you have these menu options for shifting forward and backwards within the base lab. And this allows me to specify exactly how far I want to adjust the base lab. And I can do it by feet, meters, or centimeters. So if you know that one uh, beacon was, um, say, 10 feet, in front of the other one, you can adjust them specifically by 10 feet. And let's do that here. And then the um, beacon of the base lap moves over. So this allows you to line up your base lap and your main lap. So now uh, let's talk about how you can customize what the various features do um, with control clicking, shift clicking, uh, and things like that. So in the file menu, we go to settings, and then we click on the control tab. This is a new tab as of um, version 21.1. And uh, you see here we've got three options, the basic drag, the control drag, and the shift drag. And you can choose what they do. So right now, I have the basic drag set up to scrub the trace. So that just means if I click and move from my mouse left and right, it will scrub the trace. I can also make that do a highlight or a zoom or a shift of the base lap. And so this one is the control drag, which is you're holding the control uh, button down while dragging the mouse. And I have that set up to highlight and zoom the trace. And then the shift drag, which um, is the shift key, and you're moving the mouse to the left and the right. And um, I have that to shift the base lab. So all these uh, drag options obviously are you've clicked the left, uh, you've clicked the left mouse button, and you are dragging it either left or to the right while doing one of these. So the basic drag is you're just clicking and dragging left and right. The control drag is you're clicking and dragging while holding the control button down. And the shift drag is you're clicking and dragging while holding the shift button down. So this allows you to customize uh, what those do to meet your preferences. So I hope this has been a useful video uh, going over the new ways to interact with the traces in version 20, 21.1 of the analyzer. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll have more how-to videos for the Z1 software in the future.